Playback is the fusion of two very personal memories. First memory, I used to listen to a Hindi film song over and over again called Dum Maro Dum, and in the middle of it was this Asian woman singing incredible jazz riffs in a really deep voice, and I always remembered it. She's called Usha Uttap, by the way, and she's fantastic. Second memory was watching All About Eve, which became one of my favourite films. And I was really fascinated by the relationship of an actor to the understudy, and in this case, a playback singer to the star. That whole idea of couples that are tied to each other, need each other, but don't necessarily like each other. The result is playback, and I hope you enjoy it. Now, many of you probably know that the Bollywood film industry is the biggest in the world, making global superstars of the all-singing, all-dancing actors who star in them. What you may not know is that most of these actors don't actually sing any of their songs. They mime to playback singers, who literally become the beloved voice to the famous face. So, ahead of tonight's sold-out Bollywood spectacular at the O2 Arena, I'm delighted to welcome its biggest female star, Priya Patel, and her playback singer, Marla Mystery. She's not here. Um, she's, uh, she's just running a little bit late, I'm just hearing, but welcome, Marla. I'm sure that we can fill time before she arrives. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't usually do the interviews without Priya, madam. She doesn't like it. OK, right, but I'm sure our viewers would be fascinated to hear your... Wonderful story. M my story. Yes, yes, you know, how you became the voice of the biggest superstar in India. I'm, I'm sorry, people usually close their eyes when I open my mouth. Tell me, how did you develop your talent? Was that at school? School? School was a living hell for me. People laughed at me when I said I wanted to sing. Right, that was because of the... Um... Why was that? How do the heroines sing in our movies? Hi. Simpering sopranos with their tinkly laughs and tiny waists, banting around trees like prepubescent morons waiting to be caught by the hero because, God forbid, any respectable woman should look like she wants to be caught. So they develop this girly descant because that's how men think every virgin should sound. I am a natural alto. I have never sounded like a virgin. That and my slight facial hair issue mean I got called some very unfortunate names. Like what? Man. Oh. Big, bald, hairy man. Show us your balls, hairy man. Until that day when a group of my so-called friends tried to rip off my trousers to see if I, in fact, did own a pair. That's why I've worn a sari ever since. Is there any sign of Priya? <laughs> and then I discovered jazz. Nina Simone and Sarah Vaughan and Bessie Smith, real women who sounded like real women, their voices deep and dark as their pain. So I wore my sari and I sang the blues. I think I would have gone absolutely mad if it hadn't been for... Me! I am so sorry, everyone. My driver got hopelessly lost on the way here and I had to do my makeup in the car. I must be such a mess, darling. No, you look wonderful. <laughs> Stop it. But enough about me. Has Marla been telling you how I rescued her from a seedy jazz club? Well, it wasn't seedy as such. Yes, she was singing for her supper. Literally. And I just happened to be passing by on my usual evening charity route, feeding these hungry little street urchins, when I heard this noise. Voice? Noisy voice. So unusual. And I knew at once that if something like that came out of my mouth, people would remember me. Of course, I got Mala to be a little less weird, because I didn't want to sound like an actual freak. But what we ended up with was a voice that went totally with my face. Sexy chocolate? Yes, please. Sorry? That's how my voice... My voice. ...put to my face has been described as. I am known as the sexy chocolate girl. Wow. Sex and chocolate. Everyone's two favourite things. <laughs> I'm a celibate diabetic, so not really. Right. Yeah. Not yours. But, uh, listen, it's been a, it's been a perfect partnership, hasn't it, for, for both of you, really? I mean, Priya, a shelf 
full of awards over the last decade. And, and Marla, well, just looking to see exactly how many solo albums you've clocked up. Well, Marla doesn't really need to compete with other playback singers. You wouldn't need to, do you, darling? Well, I wasn't allowed to, was I, madam? But remember that contract you made me sign all those years ago? <laughs> what would I know about that? I'm just the talent. Which forbade me from singing solo or with anybody else. Did it? Well, why would you need to? That contract ran out finally, yesterday. And today, you can buy this. Finally, me. Do you think it's a catchy title, madam? <laughs> finally, you? Too sweet. Well, good luck. People love my voice, I know that. Without this? Anyone can learn how to sing, but we all know the camera doesn't lie. However much you beg it. Am I right, sweetie? Yes. Or no. Um, let's talk about tonight's concert. I have to rush, but I am sure that Mala will keep all of your viewers entertained with her fascinating stories and without little old me. Don't be late for dress rehearsal. The weather's playing havoc with the buses. I love you all. I have my backing track with me. That helps fill time. Yes, yes, let's uh, go ahead with that. Uh, so here we go. A world exclusive sneak preview now from Llama Mysteries. It's, it's Marla. It's Marla from, from Marla Mysteries' new album. I'd like to dedicate this song to the person who's been my other half for many years. The parasite to my host, the yin to my yang, the bing to my pong. The face to all my songs up until now. They say that love is blind, but I wasn't smart. The prettiest face can hide a pus-filled heart. The sunniest smile can be scabbed with lies. Free as a bitch with the soul of a witch and lumpy thighs. She says she's an orphan who's been lucky and good. And not that she's blown everybody in Bollywood. She's never paid tax, has all of her fat sucked out with a hose. And everything she earned last year went straight up her nose. You're just jealous, you sad faced cow. Not anymore. With your pathetic lies and modern no brow. I've had laser surgery. I've come to your shadow, I'm your daily bread. Without me, you're nothing. Without me, you're dead. If I could just rip off your face and put it onto mine. Everything would be fine. 